Oh, thank you very much, Phil. I tell you what, it has been so hot, so hot, in fact, that I, even I, have had to put my sunglasses on and wear a holiday shirt. So, um, yeah, it's been nice today, but if you thought today was hot, well, tomorrow, I'm told, is going to be even hotter. So you might be thinking, if you have got a bit of spare time on your hands, particularly with some of the children not being at school, you might want to get out and about. So where can you go and keep safe at the same time? So I've been investigating, and in fact, I've come here to Kemp's Farm, which is in Horsforth, just outside Leeds, where they have a sort of uh, pick-your-own-fruit system uh, here. They've, they've, they've done this for years, since about 1984, but they've had to readapt and work out how they're going to do it and keep social distancing rules in place, etc., and keep people safe. So they've got the screen when you arrive there, they've got rules, they've got hand sanitizer, and then they've got a great one-way system. You'll find out more about that in just a moment. But I've been looking at other things too, so here are just a few ideas. We've heard a lot about bubbles to keep a social distance. So on a day out, what could be better than a little boat trip? A boat to yourself. At Blenkhorn's Boat Hire in Nesborough, weekdays have never been so busy at this time of year. Obviously we've got the social distance queuing in place and then uh, once you get on the boat, it's the same household per boat only due to the regulations. So you could bring your family down and get on the boat, then you're out on the river, easily two metres away from anyone else. Visitors say it's the ideal way to spend some leisure time while staying safe. Forget the one, two metres, about ten metres, whatever, you know, so it's... Uh, oh, the boat's ideal, very ideal. Yeah, you're a little bubble, and it's nice because you still see people and say hello, don't you? Yeah. yeah. As you're going by. It was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. At the Castle Creamery in the centre of town, they've also been doing brisk business. When lockdown started, they feared the worst, but things are really hotting up. It's as good as it gets, I think, considering what's going on. For this time of year, we wouldn't be as busy, really, as we are now, because people have got more spare time and they're out and about, walking and enjoying the hot weather. So what better on a hot day than to feed a Pomeranian a doggy ice cream? Stanley! Come on, Stanley! Here we go, look. Oh, it's a hot day, isn't it? Would you like some ice cream? Oh, have a little lick of that. Isn't it beautiful? What goes well with ice cream? Strawberries, of course. So how about a bit of safe, distanced fruit picking? Because of the social distancing, because we can space people out over the acreage that we've got, you know, it's working very well. You know, we have room, people can sit, on, sit down in the field, sit on the field of grass, there's no rush, there's no time. We just ask that people come in there, arrive in their allotted time slot, then they can stay here as long as they want. Diane, as you can see, I've been really busy, but I've probably not been doing it properly. You're the expert, so how do you pick the perfect strawberry? So, well, to me, the perfect strawberry, you obviously want a ripe one, so you want it red all the way round, and then to pick it, you just need to nip it off its stem. So if I can find another one, I don't know if the camera can see that, just nip it off the stem and then keep it intact and it'll last a bit longer as well. The moment of truth, how have I done? Oh, you picked some good ones there. That's £2.25 altogether. Oh, then, thank you. Mmm, delicious. Ian White, BBC Look North.